The next section, or the next part of section 1.1 is ordering numbers. And we're going to talk about ordering numbers without a calculator. Very important skill that you can be able to put numbers in order without a calculator. Now the directions of this particular example say order the numbers from least to greatest. And our numbers are 0.6, square root of 2, 0, negative 5 divided by 2, and 0.5129. Now, the best thing that you can do in order to compare numbers, I personally feel, is to change them all to decimals. Obviously, this number, 0.6, is already a decimal. Square root of 2. The square root of 2, in order to change that to a decimal without a calculator, what you need to do is think about what your perfect squares are. For example, square root of 1, square root of 4, square root of 9, square root of 16, etc. We all know that these all work out perfectly. The square root of 1 is 1, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16, for instance, is 4. Well, what two perfect square roots does the square root of 2 fall in between? The square root of 2 falls in between these two. And I notice that the square root of 2 is closer to the square root of 1. 2 is closer to 1 than it is to 4. Therefore, my answer or my approximation for what the square root of 2 is, it must be closer to 1 than it is to 2. So I would say that approximately the square root of 2 is maybe close to something like 1.4, maybe just less than halfway because 2 is not quite halfway between 1 and 4. So therefore, I am going to rewrite the square root of 2 and cross that out. That's about 1.4. Obviously, 0, 0, negative 5 divided by 2. I hope that we could all do that in our head. That's negative 2 and a half. And then finally, the last one is a decimal. So now, we should be able to order these from least to greatest. Obviously, negative numbers, especially large negative numbers, come first. So negative 5 over 2 comes first. That is the least. That is the smallest of those numbers. Then obviously, 0, which is neutral. And then the rest of these, we should be able to put in order. Obviously, 0.5129 is a little bit smaller than 0.6. This is like 51 cents. This would be 60 cents. And then finally, the last number, which is 1.4 or $1.40. Maybe sometime it helps to think about numbers in terms of money, dollars and cents. So there would be your final answer that I circled. And that's how you put numbers in order from least to greatest. And I, if they ask you from greatest to least, you do the same procedure, but then work backward.